Hello everyone. So, I've uh, been uploading a lot tonight. That's because I got a new PS4 finally to replace my unreliable piece of shit. So, this would be video number four. I'm not going to edit this one much. I'm just going to throw in this overlay and call it done because it's just too, it's just a brief video to address what's been going on. But yeah, I got my new PS4. So, that's all being, so I'm being setting up the new one. That's why this video is only 15 minutes long rather than the full half hour I was hoping because I forgot how to change that. Which I will be doing after I've done this. But, uh, this year is a race from Formula 1 2017. I had just finished prior. Pause it a little bit because I've been setting things up. But, other than that, it's apparently a good race. I somehow managed to pull a victory in, uh, the fucking McLaren with very shitty, uh, uh, powertrain mods. I've got durability okay. Powertrain, it's a little considerably lacking. I'm behind. That was racing on normal difficulty, 57 ranks, so. I also didn't realize that, well, sorry, I forgot I had to allow voice to be shared, so I don't have any microphone audio till towards the end of the race. I apologize for that. But anyway, just wanted to say that you're going to be seeing more variation games now, since my system's working. Hopefully a little more of Siege, because I love that game, and I don't want to play the shit out of it. A little more Fortnite, because I just got that in... But the team is good. The battle royale is good for the team. I don't like doing it solo. Solo gets kind of boring. F1 2017, you can obviously see a lot more of. Um, what else? Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 I've got downloading right now. I'll be doing that because I fucking love that game. I'm um, going to see a few others as well. As time goes on, I change up the games on the system. It's only 500 gig drive again. So as I change up the games on the system, download some new stuff. New games come out, I get them, what have you. You'll be seeing a lot more, because now I don't have a system that bitches at me for allegedly overheating when there's no way it's hot because it's only been on for 10 fucking minutes. Uh, pissing me off, so. I'll be able to focus a lot more on my game so I don't get as frustrated, hopefully. I'm still the angry Canadian, that's not changing. But, uh, yeah. Just a brief little update video. You can enjoy the rest of the race. And, uh, yeah. It's. 6 in the morning, so... Something like that. About 6 in the morning. So, uh, I'm just being lazy with the editing. I'm just throwing on the overlay, like I said. I'm not gonna cut anything out and just give you straight footage from what is the fuck from the new system as I still adjust shit. Anyway, thanks. Enjoy. Have a good night. Or good morning, whichever.
safety car. You're leading, so don't pass it. Stay behind the safety car.
The stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. McLaren have pulled it off. They've won in spectacular fashion here today. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations, and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for that fantastic performance. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after an excellent result. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Today I'm going to give it to the McLaren driver. Look at where they finished compared to where they started. It's not easy to cut through the field like that in Formula 1, so it was a great effort. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. That's it for today's Grand Prix and from Antony it's goodbye and see you again next time.